Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I am very excited to be talking about my favourite horror novels that I read in 2019. I had seven five-star reads. So just to clarify, for me a four-star book is an excellent read and definitely one that I would recommend. I had plenty of four-star reads during the year, but today I wanted to focus on the really special ones. So a five-star read for me is, yeah, a really special book, something that really affects me in some way, and all of the books I'm going to talk about today definitely did that. I do want to mention that none of these books are from 2019, they're just books I read during that year. I'm a big fan of vintage horror, specifically the 1970s, 80s and 90s, and all of my favourite reads were from that era. So I think the most recent one is 1993. And some of the books I'm going to be talking about, I already have separate review videos for them, so I will link all of them below if you want to go give them a watch. I have two four and a half star reads, which are like honourable mentions for the year. First up is The Reaping by Bernard Taylor. He's one of my favourite authors and this one was such a great read. It's about an artist who is commissioned to paint the portrait of a young lady and he is sent to this lovely mansion to stay while he does the painting. But he stumbles upon some strange goings on in which he becomes involved. It's part slow burn, quiet horror, and part gripping, thrilling craziness, and it was a really good combination. And my other four and a half star read needs no introduction, it is It by Stephen King. This was my first time reading it. I always found the size of this book very daunting, but I'm so glad I finally picked it up. The characters and the friendships in here are really excellent. Pennywise and his various incarnations are downright terrifying, and overall it really is an excellent read. Okay, now onto my five star reads for the year. There are seven novels in total, and I couldn't rank them, so I'm just going to talk about them in the order that I read them throughout the year. First up is Bad Brains by Kathy Koja. She is another of my favourite authors. And this one is about an artist who, after an accident, begins to suffer from seizures and visions, and he embarks on a road trip to try and find a cure. It is psychological and visceral, and her writing is amazing. Next up is The House Next Door by Anne Rivers Siddons. This is a haunted house story with a difference. It follows a couple who live in this really well-to-do neighbourhood and a new house is being built next door to them, but it seems doomed from the start and anyone that lives there comes to a very unhappy ending. And it's really interesting, not only because of what happens to people involved in this house, but the fact that it's told from the next door perspective. Really well written, really atmospheric, absolutely fantastic. Next up is Burnt Offerings by Robert Morasco, which is another haunted house story with a difference. This is about a family who want to get out of New York City for the summer and rent some house out in the countryside and they end up finding this amazing deal on this incredible mansion out in the middle of nowhere. And the caveat is that the matriarch of the family that owns the house will be staying there, but she keeps herself to herself, they just need to provide meals for her and leave them in her quarters. And during their stay, the house quickly has a hold on the members of the family and it affects them all in different ways. Again, really well written and an absolutely excellent read. Next up is The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum, another book that probably needs no introduction. This is based on the real case of Sylvia Likens, a girl who was tortured and eventually killed by family members she was sent to live with. And this is a book that 
like Stephen King's It, I was daunted by the size of it. This one, I was daunted by the content. I knew it was going to be a really difficult read. And it was, but it's also one I'm really glad I read because his writing is absolutely second to none. And yeah, it was a difficult but very powerful read. Next up is Beloved by Toni Morrison. I would probably class this more as literary fiction slash horror adjacent, but I know plenty of people do class it as horror, so it definitely deserves a place in this list. This is about a woman and her family who are trying to escape slavery, and one of her children dies, and the family are haunted by its ghost. And there's a lot more to this story aside from that basic premise. It's incredibly well written. I absolutely fell in love with her writing style. And yeah, such a powerful and heartbreaking read. Next up is another Kathy Koja. This is Skin and it's about a sculptor and a dancer who decide to combine their artistic forces into performance art. It includes elements like body modification and it's a really intense study about obsession and relationships. Again, her writing is phenomenal and I've read three books by her now and they've all been five star reads. And last up is another Bernard Taylor. This is The Moorstone Sickness. It's about a couple who want to get away from London and they move to this quiet little village called Moorstone. At first they fall in love with the peace and quiet and all of their really friendly neighbours, but it seems that there is something sinister going on. This one was really interesting because it does use some tropes of the genre, but I thought his story was still really unique and I was really invested in the characters and the ending was absolutely chilling and really emotional. So those were my favourite horror novels that I read in 2019. Let me know if you've read any of these or if you're thinking about picking them up. I'd love to hear what your favourites of the year were. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!